Hi Rahul, good morning. Good morning, sir. So Rahul, our today's interaction is uh, related to a very very important topic, and that is uh, why you left your very good job uh, in India. That is, you were working in American company only, Caterpillar, which you got through campus placement in IIT Kanpur. You left it, and then you joined PhD abroad. So why you did that? Why because uh, in uh, in India. students only once they get in a good job good job is where they are getting good salary growth everything they don't uh, come back to phd where they will get less scholarship and uh, maybe they have to slog for some more years why at first you decided to do that and uh, when did you do your masters and when did you join your job how long did you how many years you did your job and when you decided to go for phd those things please share with us Hmm. So actually, yeah. First thing, why I left my job. Uh, when I got the placement, everybody was saying like you got placed in R and D of uh, Caterpillar and all. Uh, it took me around six to eight months to realize actually in India there is no R and D. It is like <laughs> engineering support centers only. Okay. So what happens like, uh, actually like I am working in the core mechanical engineering, but what happens there is one. person who is sitting in us mm. he is the in charge of every project he will understand the problem what is going on in the caterpillar machine he will understand he will just tell us like okay you have to perform this simulation and make a presentation so what we were doing in india we will run some analysis in abacus and say we are making presentations and uh, we will send him so he has the overall idea like what's going on in that project and uh, he is the one who is basically actually taking the decision then uh, what happens i met one person in caterpillar uh, so he is like he same like me in 2015 he did his bachelors i come to i go to iit kanpur he went to university of cincinnati in usa that is not a very reputed university here it is like just a normal university uh, at same time i got placed in cat india he got placed in cat us uh so after a while when we are done with our training what i observe like he is the in charge of my projects whatever i am getting the projects over here in india he is the one who is taking all the decisions and all and that fellow didn't even crack the gate exam i cracked the gate exam i went to iit kanpur in so much competitive environment then i got this placement but still he is the one who is uh, basically taking all the decisions and all so what i observed then like if companies mnc they have one r and d wing in india actually it is not r and d if some company is saying like we have r and d in india china it's not r and d it is the support center only they will hire phds in us in cat like cat is hiring phds in us they are the one who is actually driving this r and d wing but uh, they have some support people in india who's always making presentation doing analysis throughout like i met some some of my seniors who were working like 25 years still they are making the presentation giving back it to us people and they are the one who is taking decision so then i thought like if we have to work in uh, these type of companies why not to join these companies from the us and then i decided like let's go to us and see how the job market over here Mm, so okay. the thing is like it is not the education system people generally think i want to go qs ranking uh, under 100 i want to go in that university it's not the qs ranking of the university it's always the country like if you join very very good universities in let us say taiwan or let us say korea you will never get that opportunities which you will get from us or germany so uh, this is the thing which people will understand in 5 6 years of their job but i think students should learn learn this thing from experience of the seniors so that's why i'm sharing it with you so wonderful actually input which you have given uh, mm-hmm. no see everybody cannot go abroad that we understand and iits are wonderful institutes no doubt about that and uh, reality is also that if you go and join if you want to join some multinational company then that company obviously will give more weightage and more crucial roles and responsibilities to people of that country like suppose you join caterpillar 
from campus in America and you join caterpillar from campus in India. Obviously, there is going to be a difference. That there is, is a difference. Wrong. And that yeah. is irrespective of your capability of individual. That is what we could see now. And that mm -hmm. is from where you decided that why not then to... And I, I believe uh, you are very close to the headquarter of Caterpillar now. Yeah, <laughs> it is very close. Actually, okay. I talk to people who are working in US. So they are very good friends of mine. And other one thing which I want to share, like uh, I always keep on thinking when I was in Caterpillar, like why people are saying PhDs are overqualified in India. You are overqualified, you will not get the job in India. So uh, this is again one thing which I observe if you are joining any MNCs like Caterpillar is US based, Mercedes Benz is Germany based, they will always hire PhD in their home country. Uh, they will never hire PhDs in India. So okay. that's why in India, I would say like PhDs are overqualified, but in US, you are not overqualified. They are needed. Because R&D, as you rightly said in the beginning, that it took yeah. you six months to realize you do not have R&D center. <laughs> you, yes. you gave a name. What what name you gave, Rahul? What was that? It is like engineering support centers. Ah, this engineering is, support this center. is the name of our team. Mm. Yeah. So you yeah. are not doing a real R&D activity. So if you are to do real R&D activity, you join these countries in their uh, native places and they mm -hmm. their own countries the, that is the better way so so what is the learning uh, from this entire interaction rahul if you have to sum up sum up now this entire thing what is the message uh, that goes to students learning is like if you want to grow your career in corporate always talk to senior people and uh, starting is very very important like from where you are starting if uh, like some people start the corporate journey just after BTEC, they will not get that type of job roles which they want and they will get frustrated in five, six years. Then they left, they go for masters. So uh, I would say like always discuss your long-term goal with some seniors and uh, take a very crucial advice like from where to join, when to join these corporates. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is what I want to discuss. So that's wonderful, Rahul. So uh, I think we should pass it on to students, this information, so that they are in position to make the right decision for their career and uh, join these companies accordingly. That was a wonderful piece of information, Rahul. I thank you for this and look forward to have more such interaction, especially about PhD, whatever you mentioned, that why PhD in India, they don't join the corporates or they don't get opportunities in corporate and are forced I must say, to get into postdoctorate fellowship. So that will be our next video. And I'm very sure it will going to be a very, very relevant video. So thank you, uh, Rahul, for your time. And I'll catch you next week once again. Thank you. Oh, thank you.